YouTube, what is going on? Today, we are going to be going over possibly the best mommy in the game. That being Eternity. She is obviously a mineral unit. She is DPS and she does a little thing called Nasty Wound. Now, you're probably wondering why I have Eternity. I have actually not summoned since the Melania banner. Um, this is just an alt account I do have. And as you can see, there is a dupe in her. So let's first go over her attacks. First up, we have the Innocents of Exeter. Uh, it is a AOE ultimate. It deals 350 reality damage to all enemies. This goes up by the higher the portrait that you get. And she enjoys a 50% leech rate on every single unit that takes hit. So very, very good. Her single target, the Vigor Handy Bag. We all know this. It is a single target attack, obviously. She loses HP by 10%. And she de uh, deals damage from 200 to 500%. And she inflicts one round of Nasty Wound on the target. Nasty Wound being that it reduces the enemy's healing by 50%. Next up, we have the two target attack, the Vintage Hand Fan. And as I said, this attack is a two damage dealing attack of reality damage, um, scaling from 160 to 400 damage um, and she loses whatever her current age HP by 10% so also let's go ahead and check out her insights at insight one she is immune to bleed corrode and poison that's already phenomenal given how a lot of people like to use hers we'll go over that later at the start of each round, she gains one stack of Elder Blood. It deals 3% of increased damage and damage recovery increases by 3%, cannot be dispelled, and the effect is stackable up to 5 times for a total of 15%. Insight 2, she increases her damage dealt by 8% when she enters the battle. And then once you get to Insight level 3, it enhances Blood of Longevity effect. So the damage dealt is going to be 5% and damage healing is going to be 5%. At five stacks of longevity, this effect transforms into blood of immortality, and then blood of immortality is going to be similar to this, but it is going to be 25% for increased damage dealt, and then 25% uh, of damage healing, and then she's going to be immune to stats down and cannot be dispelled. So, what is the typical um, way people like to run Eternity that I was talking about? Well, the strat mainly for Eternity is to be running her um, by herself. She is the solo Eternity unit. Um, typically, you want to run her with Miss New Bell or Betty um, because, you know, Miss New Bell provides a five rounds of stacking for a shield onto her allies. So having Eternity with her um, provides the Eternity that little bit of longevity to dish out the damage while also not having to worry about continually getting hit because as you are attacking with her she is going to be losing her hp until you get to her ultimate and then you know you're gonna you're gonna recover all of that hp um another unit you want to run is bet is because bet is the only unit in the game that can increase ally skill star ranks um this is done through the ultimate obviously but you know let's say you have the single target two star and you know you're going to be doing 300 percent but you want to get a little more damage well guess what boom 500 and then same thing with the double attack you're just going to be doing more damage um which is okay and fine however i think honestly for the solo strat play typically what i've been liking to do is i like to use the lower level cards because you want a lot of leech rate as possible when you get to the ultimate um, in order to you know gain as much hp as you can back as possible but you know that's neither here nor there it's really entirely up to the player some other teams that are very good for eternity would also be anan lee um, balloon party who's another freaking fantastic unit medicine pocket is very very strong but you know she is a beast unit um, so it's it's just a little different you get a little diversity um, but I do think 
her best build her best team honestly is yet to be complete i do think that pickles is probably one of her best teammates um but you know it, she's she's a very strong unit is she on the same level as centurion probably not i think at this given uh point in the game for the globals time centurion is the better unit it was always between uh eternity or centurion that a lot of people were summoning on so or re-rolling for um so if you got centurion i do think you probably lucked out a little bit more but eternity is still still fantastic unit to have obviously if you have eternity you know about the solo strat you know about her capabilities and the amount of damage that she is able to put out